all of Israel mourned. He was the one who was always leaning toward his weaknesses. And he's the one who built the golden calf and they were all dancing around it. He had so many weaknesses and he wasn't qualified really to be the first high priest of Israel. But Moses came along and propped him up on his leaning side. And when he felt unworthy and when he felt like he had failed God and when he felt like he had built the golden calf and image in his life and how could God use me? And it was Moses, you read, who was constantly propping him up on his leaning side. Moses and the children of Israel were fighting the Amorites. They were fighting in the valley and Moses went up on the mountain to watch from a vantage point. And the Bible said when he raised his hands, the battle in the valley, Israel would conquer the Amorites and push them back. But then his hands started getting weary. And when his hands started coming down, amazingly, the battle in the valley began to be lost. And the Amorites begin to prevail against the Israelites. But you can only hold your hands up in your own strength so long. But there were two men called Aaron and Hur, it's spelled H-U-R. And when Moses raised his hands and they saw his hands start going down and they saw the battle beginning to turn against Israel, the Bible said they ran up under him like two big pine beams. That's why it's so powerful when you get to sit by somebody who will praise the Lord. Because you may be weak, but if they'll praise the Lord, the Lord will come up under one side because he inhabits the praises of his people. Was a good prop for Aaron in the past, but now guess who's propping Moses up? It's Aaron. Hey, you were so weak, I had to prop you up, but now I'm weak and you're having to prop me up. And all of you have leans and bends. We all do to areas and things and weaknesses in our lives. But when they started leaning, God knows how to bring people props who can prop you up on your leaning side and tell you you're not going to do that. And God can use you. And God's not through blessing you. God w wants you to do what you can do. And then after you've done all you can do, he'll prop you up on your leaning side. And he'll walk you out of the desert. He'll walk you out of the dry place that you've been. He'll prop you up on your leaning side.